to come through the door. They went on top of the house. And they removed one tile there, one sledge there, one sheet of iron there. And he let down the man. And then in verse 5, when Jesus saw their faith, when Jesus saw their faith, you do something. For him to see your faith, when you raise up your hand, is the action of faith. You do something for him to see your faith. When you say, Jesus, that's the action of your faith. You do something. You say something to show your faith. And when you, if you are lame, and then we are prayed, and I say, rise up. You do something to show your faith. And when I say you are blind, I pray for you. Open your eyes. Now you can see. You do something to show your faith. When Jesus saw the action of their faith, when Jesus saw the revelation, the manifestation, the visible, noticeable thing in their faith, that they went all that far to bring this man into his presence. He said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. The wonder of coming to Christ, that all your sins, that you have committed since you were born, the visible and the invisible, the tangible and the intangible, the known and the unknown, the one that you remember and the ones that you do not remember, the ones other people know and the others that the other people do not know. And then the Lord says, the wonder of coming to Christ, that every sin you ever committed in your life, what a great wonder. The wonder of salvation. The wonder of forgiveness. The wonder of total redemption. The wonder of being set free from every sin of your life. Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. What a voice. What an assurance. What glory. What joy. What peace of mind. The wonder of coming to Christ. It's at that moment. When your sins are forgiven, when it gives you peace of mind, when it gives you rest in your soul, when it removes your guilt, your condemnation, and it takes away the load that used to press on your mind. Now you are free. Now you are forgiven. Now you are the salvation of the Lord. It's then life actually begins. Now you have the life of Christ. Because of the forgiveness you receive from the Lord. And tonight, He will bless you. Tonight, He will forgive your sin. The moment to show your faith. Yes, I believe that Jesus died for me. The moment to show your faith. Yes, I believe the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin. Yes, the moment you put your faith, your trust, not in animal sacrifice. Not in your good deeds, not in your giving money to the beggar, not in your paying your church deals, not you put your faith, not in infant baptism, you put your faith, not in how good you are, you put your faith in Christ, that he died for you. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Rock of ages. Cleanse for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from your wounded side. From your river side, from your broken side, from your heart side that came, that flowed down. Be a double kill for my sin. God, my tears forever flow. God, my zeal no respite, no. All these for sin cannot atone. Thou and thou alone must say, when you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, that he is the one to forgive your sin, to take your guilt away. So take your condemnation away and say, yes, Lord, I believe you are my Savior. Salvation will come to you tonight. You turn away from your sin. You turn away from every evil sin in your hand. And say, Lord, no more, no more, no more. 
The nightclub, no more. The smoking and drinking, no more. Fornication, adultery, no more. Idol worship, no more. Or cause his him joining a gang, no more. And then making a mess of my life, a fool of myself. In the private, in the public, no more. I give myself unto you. Remember, he preached the word of repentance unto them. And the moment they turned, and he said, now, we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's how they were saved. That's why Jesus said, son, thy sins be forgiven thee. The wonder of coming to Christ. And then, in verse 9. Whether it is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and take up thy bed and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He says to the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, arise. Take up thy bed and go thy way into thy house. Do you see here? Jesus did not have to even touch him. He just spoke the word. The word you are hearing tonight is the word of power. It's the word of healing. It's the word of deliverance. Don't worry that I'm not coming there to touch you. Jesus did not have to touch him. It just said, arise. When I tell you arise, when that word arise, the power to arise will come to you there. When I say, open your eyes and see, the power to open your eyes and to see will come with the word open. Don't you remember? Jesus was walking on water. And Peter saw him. And he said, Lord, if that's you walking on the water, tell me to come unto you. And Jesus said, come. And the power to come out of the boat and walk on the sea came with that word, come. When you hear the word of God, if you will act on that word of God, the power comes for the word that gave you instruction and command. That's why I say tonight, receive your miracle. Receive your sight. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. You see, the moment you receive it by faith, the power will come into operation in verse 12 and immediately. Everybody say immediately. And immediately he arose took up the bed and went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and glorified God saying we never saw it in this fashion something you have never seen is coming your way something you have never heard you will hear tonight a miracle you have never experienced, you'll experience it tonight. The wonder, the wonder of coming to Christ. He got salvation, he got healing. He got forgiveness of sin, and he got strength. And he rose up, and he walked. Tonight is your night. This is your day. You have been here for a purpose. You have been sitting there for a purpose. You have been standing there for a purpose. You have been expecting from the Lord for a purpose. And this is your time. This is your day. You will not miss your miracle in Jesus' name. Do you remember there are two miracles there? Number one, the forgiveness of sin. Number two, the healing of the sickness. Number one, the salvation of his soul. Number two, the strength, supernatural strength coming to his body. Number one, his name in the book of life. Number two, the power that makes him completely whole as if he was never sick in his life before. And those two things are coming to you right now. I said those two things are coming to you right now. Number one is your forgiveness. Number one is your salvation. Number one is removal of your guilt and condemnation. Number two is the healing of your body, the deliverance in your life. And those two things are happening tonight. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed, eyes closed. Remember, he wants you to repent. 
and he has preached the word of repentance to you through me and the lord is saying if you actually believe on the lord as your savior and you know that your good work cannot save you paying money in the church how much money can you pay to give you salvation all the good things to think you have done like a pharisee those things cannot earn you salvation but your salvation is in christ i said your salvation is in christ your redemption is in christ your forgiveness is in christ and right there right now if you are making jesus christ your savior and you're saying i know yes i know Yes, I know that I know that I cannot save myself. That Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. And this very moment, he wants to save me. And I want to get saved too. Raise up your hand wherever you are. You want him to forgive your sin. You want him to take away your condemnation and your guilt. And you want the burden of sin to be rolled away from your life. And you're saying, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I'm here. I want your forgiveness. I want your salvation. Where are you? If you're raising up your hand, can you please stand up? Thank you. You're raising up. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you wonderfully well. You're raising up your hand. You're saying, I want salvation. On my right hand side, on my left hand side, in the middle, in front, far, far to the back, wherever you are tonight. You're saying, Lord, I want forgiveness. I want forgiveness. And I want the you and the power of sin in my life to be broken, destroyed completely. Just raise up your hand and stand up wherever you are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. As you're standing up, close your eyes. And you're confessing those sins to the Lord. Lord, I'll not worship idol anymore. Lord, no fornication anymore. And Lord, no adultery anymore. I will not run after all the people's wives, other people's husbands anymore. Lord, just forgive me. All these idolatrous practice, all these sacrificing, the sacrificing that, all the joining of secret cults or open cults or whatever it is or gang. Lord, I repent. I turn away from them. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord and say, Lord, I I come to you i repent i'm sorrowful because of my sin lord forgive me change my life help me lord i don't want to go back into those sins anymore save me today forgive me today take all my sins away wash me with the blood that you shed for me on the cross of calvary tell the lord if you tell the lord sincerely from the depths of your heart it will forgive you then it will be as if you never sinned and it will give you a clean slate to now move forward and begin to live a victorious life a righteous life as you are standing i'm going to pray with you now raise up your hand those who are standing thank you thank you father in the name of jesus i thank you for all these who are standing i thank you because they are asking you to forgive their sin and to take away the condemnation and the guilt. I pray in your mercy, in your love, in your grace. You will forgive their sins even at this moment in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for them that you change their lives. And the desire to do bad, bad things. You take that desire away from them in Jesus' name. Cleanse them. Wash them. Turn them around. Change their lives. Transform them. Make them new creatures in Christ. Even from tonight. In Jesus name. Lord I pray. Every one of those people standing now. Will experience the wonder of salvation. As they come to Christ. As they believe on Christ. Thank you Lord because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Another amen. A concluding amen. The Lord. The time has come. You say, my time has come. My time of miracle has come. My time of healing has come. God bless every one of you. If you know you are receiving yours tonight, how do you show that? 
How do you demonstrate that? If you know a miracle is coming your way tonight. If you know you'll be happy tonight. If you know you will rejoice tonight. If you know, if you know an expression of miracle is coming your way tonight. How do you show that? Praise the Lord. Thank you for standing up. It's coming your way now. It's coming your way now. That centurion said, speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. I'm standing here. I'm speaking the word of power against your sickness. I'm speaking the word of power against your blindness. I'm speaking the word of power against your paralysis. I'm speaking the word of power against your cancer. I'm speaking the word of power against your barrenness. I am speaking the word of power against your affliction. I'm speaking the word of power against your yoke. Your yoke is broken tonight in Jesus' name. Just slip up your hand. You are receiving your miracle now. Blind eyes, get ready to open. Those who are paralyzed, get ready to stand up and walk. And you brought anybody deaf and don't get ready. Miracle is coming their way. Cancer will leave your body. Tuberculosis will leave you. HIV AIDS will leave your body. And barrenness will leave your family. Tonight is your night of miracle. Keep up the hand. When you hear the final amen, then you know the miracle has come. You have got it. You check it, you'll see the miracle there. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless your name tonight because of the assurance I have in my spirit, in my heart, that tonight there will be showers. Showers. Showers of miracle. Showers of healing. Showers of deliverance. Lord, give it to your people in Jesus' name.